Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where today I have a bit of a dilemma. I'm not too sure what to do, what would be the best thing to do like going forward and whatnot because I feel like I do need to make a decision or a couple of decisions and I'm not really too sure what to do or where to go. So I'm genuinely, I want your opinion on this one. I want your ideas on what you think is the best thing to do going forward and, uh, and let me know in the comments below because I love it when we do that. I love it. I get lots of like informative information from you when when we do things like this. So yeah, I'm going to outline this for you and let you know what it is I'm thinking, why I'm thinking it, and then you can tell me if you think that that's correct, good or bad, as you know, I don't trust my th own thoughts, which is why I'm asking you for you thoughts, for your thoughts. So essentially what I am looking at today is DMRs and more 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 accurately I guess for me is the dilemma of DMRs as I'm not too sure what I want to do with DMRs going forward. So this all kind of stems from I feel like the perfect rift for me the perfect rifle which I would like to have would be some kind of like M4 built aero stocked HPA kind of like DMR because it's going to be quiet it's going to be performant I'm going to be able to have like lots of BBs in it things like that so pretty much everything that you would want Want, it would be able to do. The downside I feel like with that though is it's probably going to be a bit too strong. <laughs> like it's going to be, if I can get into decent positions, I'm going to be able to just like mow people down and the, the, the fact that I can just kind of like, you know, pew, 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 instead of having to like, you know, cock shots and, and things like that and not really having to worry about ammo at all. I feel like that may take away from the from the pleasure, from the enjoyment of it. And I don't want that to happen. I want to have lots of fun when I play Airsoft. So essentially, when I figured out what the perfect gun would be for me, it came to like, you know, about 1500 quid of a build. And I don't have that much money to build a, a rifle at the moment. So I decided to do the next best thing, which was to get an AEG, which would be able to perform as a, uh, as a six sniper. And you know what I did? I ended up getting this. It was second hand. I bought it off a, uh, a wonderful man who I've played Airsoft with before. And we're going to play Airsoft again. Thank you, Simon. Legend. And it is a Scorpion Evo F A13 DMR build. It's got like the Evo Tech like DMR upgrade type thing by JD Airsoft. And apparently this thing is epic. At my regular site in Victor Battlefield, uh, multiple people have, have used this one and they've said that it's a very dangerous, deadly rifle. And then I bought it from the man who had it. So hopefully it will be just as dangerous and deadly in my hands. The sad thing though that happened with it is the first day I went to take it out, I literally probably put about 20 BBs through it and then the trigger broke and then I wasn't able to use it for the rest of the day and then after that I started to get my hands on the Novridge rifles and I wanted to run them instead to make content on them because they were more topical at the time and then we got to lockdown and I've not been able to use it since. So after buying this it's essentially just been on the wall, just been sat on the wall not really doing anything, just looking at me asking what its future has and I just don't, I don't really know because the very limited gameplay I've done with this rifle so far, it was a little bit easy. Like I was sat in a bush and I was just shooting at people quite far away and I was taking them out. And you know, that was quite fun, but it was noisy. It sounded and felt like I was using an AEG and it, it, it kind of felt like I was just sat in a bush with an M4 shooting at people. And I didn't really like that experience because it didn't feel like I was sniping at all. Like with sniping, every shot feels like it's important because you have to cock it. And even if I'm running my SRS with my M4 uh, mag adapter, even though I've got like, you know, 140 rounds in the magazine, I still feel like each shot needs time and effort and energy put into it to make sure that I'm not wasting that motion of cocking. Also with a DMR, then this is quite ironic, this one. The whole point of me getting this was because I wanted to have a gun where if I was lying in the middle of a field and people couldn't see me because my ghillie covering was so good that I was just invisible, I wanted to be able to just take people out without having to need to move. So with a DMR, I could just go bang, bang, bang. And in my head, I'm like, that's super cool. I could be really combat effective. I can really help my team out. But then on the other side of that, I feel like it's unfair. I feel, I feel like it's a bit too easy, you know, because there's something which is actually quite liberating, you know, when you're using a, a bolt action sniper and you're actually there kind of like, you know, if you are in the open, if people can see you, the fact that you need to try and move as little as possible to then, you know, cock it 
so you could take your next shot. It just puts so much more emphasis on the actual gameplay of, of what you're deciding to do and how you treat your body and how you treat your movements and your position over, you know, just shooting at people. And there's something that's just really awesome about that. And I really, really love it. That being said though, the experience I've had so far with this versus the SSX 303, which I got the other day, it feels quite different in. And I think the reason why it feels different is because of maybe the, the 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 trigger system because I know that the it feels like a Mark 23 so I already feel like when I shoot I need to make sure that each shot counts like I do with when I'm running my Mark 23 pistol anyway it could be because the magazines have like 28 30 rounds in that I feel like I need to make sure every shot like hits and counts and I think some of it is just the actual fact that it's a gas rifle as opposed to being electric like I don't have any of the like noise of a motor like kind of winding up and the gears going it's purely just a and there's something really nice about that. I've said before, I've also thought about making a DMR version of the AAP. I've got my current AAP build here, which has a 220 mil barrel in there. And oh my God, this thing is small, it's light, it's ultra mobile, it's compact, and I can hit targets quite far away with this accurately and consistently. And I would love to make a DMR version of this as well. Essentially just get the longer inner barrel and then make sure that I've got a outer barrel slash suppression are kind of like covering it so it's protected and then the job's going to be a good one and I'm hoping that it's going to be awesome but now I've got the SSX 303 that project has kind of gone on hold because there's no need for me to build that into an SSX 303 because I've already got one I definitely want to do it in future but at the minute between the two it seems like the only downside for this one is the noise because of the recoil that that has. It's quite noisy compared to the SSX. So that's why we're not doing that yet. So yeah, that's the dilemma. It seems like all of the benefits of having a DMR are also the things to me that take away from the experience of being an airsoft sniper. Being able just to go like, pop, 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 down rage at someone. It feels like it takes out some of the magic. And as much as I wanna be super combat effective in a game. Like, I wanna be that guy who, as I'm walking around, people are like, oh God, not him. Oh God, no. You know, like in the in the cool way of like, oh, he's really good at airsoft, you know? Not in the, oh, he's got an annoying voice or makes terrible videos kind of way. And yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just so confused. Like, don't get me wrong, this is a really sick gun and it does the business, but part of me is just like, I. I think I'm just a bolt action sniper, you know, or or like a GBB uh, player. It's a very contradictory feeling. It's very weird, you know, like the thing that I want is also the thing that I don't want because there's certain things around that that just don't really mesh in the in the right way. So yeah, that's how I'm that's how I'm feeling. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I know on the unboxing live video of the uh, SSX 303 that I did, there were quite a few comments about um, like, uh, about DMRs and their usage and their benefits and things like that. So I know lots of you already have ideas about DMRs, but let me know what you think and let me know if you agree with me because it's something which, yeah, it's such a juxtaposition. The thing that I want is also the thing that I feel like is going to take away from the thing that I love. So... Uh, yeah, I'm just, I feel just quite stuck. So please do comment below, let me know your thoughts, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you in the loop of what I eventually decide to do. Huge shout out to all of my lovely patrons for supporting the channel month on month. You're helping me create content every single day, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate it that you're supporting the channel in that way. Really does mean a lot, you guys are awesome. Also a big shout out to the Stay Fresh US of Discord community. Lots of wonderful chaps and chapettes in there, talking about airsoft all the time. So if you've got a problem with your or riff or you want to know what riff to buy or something like that head to the discord there's a link below in the description and enjoy your new home for airsofty stuff this video was also sponsored by project airsoft so a big shout out to project airsoft tons of accessories and upgrades and things like that which you would never even have thought of needing because they're so amazing ideas and, and stuff so yeah check out the website again it's linked in the description or also project airsoft Dakota uk there'll be some beautiful things on there i assure you and with that being said thank you very much for watching remember to call your hits and i'll see you in the next one.